There he is. Is he still in the same spot? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. He's sad because I disciplined him last night for the, uh, for getting on the TV. I mean, for pawing the TV. I'll show what Kitty does or what he used to do. Just Wait, go watch over where you got dirty shoes. I'm about to put yeah, a shoe. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Right go over here to television and you just sit there and paw the TV. So we're going to get a new television and install it up here, probably. We'll have to see. It's still okay. It's just this is an older television. It's an Insignia. I think it was like 2017 or 2016. Here we go. Very good. Very disciplined. It is boiling. Got Triscuit for snacks. And we're doing what? Okay. Beef ravioli. Beef ra ravioli? Okay. Cool. Maybe when I go to church tonight, maybe one of the ladies might know something about blue slacks. So don't seem so. Alright. Amen. Yeah, it's actually West. All right, so we're off again. It's actually West 6th Street. This is Avenue. Anyway, anyway, my friend Bobby Skezla do here. Robert Bosque is a playwright. He did uh, just recently My Brother and Sister with Wings at the Marine Theater. Uh, Artist El Rosa, it's right down this way. Two blocks down that way, about three blocks. Yeah, we grew up together in high school. I used to come out here all the time. Yeah, that was Avenue, not Street. So I have to go to the the right address on West Sixth Street. So head back. It's a cool, rustic neighborhood. Townsend right here. It's like Peter Townsend. my streets and avenues. I knew this one was a little too far. Looks like we finally found them and I've 
found out the reason. The lady was like, oh, well, you know, he's kind of been drinking, so. Could have been a wrong address given out, or I'll say like double check addresses on that one. Whew. Finally found them. Celsus, pagan and proud of it, thought he'd look into this new Galilean custom. The unanimity was impressive, and you had to give them the morality, which was hard to find in Rome. And man. All right, another night of delivery. We'll head back to see Linda and Kitty. talk about my play um now when I wrote it I was under some duress and there's a section in there that I'm absolutely gonna have to cut and I, I keep coming across that section going what is this I, I literally don't know why it was written it was like the spiritist Monday when my hand was writing and uh I, I don't know so I'm gonna have to cut some stuff but like nothing yet and I'm not gonna really show what I'm gonna cut it, it may you may have been able to see it through the page turning, but that would be very difficult depending on the quality of uh, monitor that you have. Just vitamin water. Um, so I'm going to be working on little chunks of that for quite a bit of time until we have it ready. I'm going to try my very best to send it to New York. I do want to send an email to MCC, that's a Manhattan class company. And then a few other theaters too. And then I'll just keep sending it to theaters in the New York City area. Hopefully shooting for Off-Broadway. I don't expect it to be Broadway. Off-Broadway is just a smaller house. Anything under 500 seats. Um, Off-Broadway off is even less seats. But um, I'm just going to see who's interested and see what kind of dialogue I can get. I can't fund it so it would have to be something they would just, well, you know, just they would just have to do it. And then I would go from there. Now, would I be able to go to New York and see the play? Maybe one, maybe one viewing. And then I could maybe go to Maine and see my mom, um, possibly. Um, I would just swing by the theater and see it. And, oh, I'm the playwright. That's a possibility. And hopefully, maybe that could, but I, I want this specifically done in New York. In New York City, it's designed around that. And I think it should be there. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, now, yeah, I, I probably, I probably really won't even send it to any theaters around here. I'm just gonna send it there and see what happens, and keep communicating with them and, and see what happens. And then if they're like, well, yeah, Cole, sure, we'll do it, and here is the dates, and this is what we're doing, and we're gonna cast it and all this other stuff, and I'll be like, okay, fine, and I'll go from there. All right. So um is in it. It's a nonverbal. There's times where the character just says, um, and, uh, I thought about maybe in the future, right? Another play called, uh, it's another nonverbal. Anyway, it's not really about a nonverbal, but nonverbal is part of it. It's just, I always like the title. And then, um, it's about this couple that lives with a cat and weird things happen to them. Okay. All right. Love you guys. There he is, your little TV scratcher. I'm gonna have to put that in the play. There she is, hi. Thank the dirty you. shoes are coming off, look. It's Linda's artwork. Linda's a painter, look at this. You did this though. <laughs> okay, sure, dear. Yeah, this is what Linda did. Look at, look at that. It's actually good on a big white canvas with these colors and these symbols. I would buy it. There are people that will buy this kind of stuff. Very good. You have to put your signature on it. Thanks. Uh, put your signature on the back and then date it. I found it in my car. Hi, 
So we're gonna set it up and begin to eat. And we have, uh, what did you say? Did you make anything? Leftover steak. It's a little okay. overcooked. We'll get to that. I just yeah. imagine us playing over it. All right. Thank you for watching. I'm Lester Holt. Please take care of yourself and each other. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top Giddy. stories on the NBC. Look, he's got something. Yeah, he's, on he's honed in to, on something. Yeah, the dust gets under there. He's looking at. He's looking at that. The same principle. Make a run, Kitty. Make a run for it. Run, Kitty. Run. What? Oh, he thinks that wire. Something. Kitty, no. Something. 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 No, it's just, like, it's all, <laughs> he's stuck up like that. Get it, there's a bug, there's a bug, I told you, I told you. Oh, he you. found it? Yeah, right there. Where, what kind right is there it? there is a roach. Oh, Where, I don't see it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's your imagination. No, I just saw it. No, it's. Yes, it is, I just saw it. Then it gets back. What are you doing, Katie? Look at that, man. Can't land on the moon with a fraction. <laughs> He's mad he didn't catch it. It's Calm underneath down. you, underneath your butt. I just oh, it's Martin it. Sheen. Wow, I did that exact. Oh my God, it's Apocalypse Now. How'd I do that? What, the, what in the world? I, I, I just predicted the future. I, I just did this. I, I was not, this is television. Okay, they'll never be able to prove that. Kitty, kitty, get out, get out. Wait, hang on, Shh, no. I, I was just doing Apocalypse Now and it came on the television. That's crazy, man. Kitty, kitty. You can't land on the moon with a fraction. Right, I don't know where the roach went. That's Make what sure Apocalypse Now your... from Dennis Hopper's character. I saw the roach. I saw okay, the roach. Okay, there's a roach somewhere. What is this right here? You need to do some sweeping. I know. I Smart Sheen, Apocalypse Now. I was just making fun of Apocalypse Now just now. But maybe I heard, I heard it. That's what it was. I heard it. I heard I heard it and immediately, <gasps> subliminally, you just go right for Apocalypse Now. I have Apocalypse Now, though. Let me see something. I have a blue Blu-ray version of things. I got a Blu-ray version of it, right? It's actually a pretty good movie. I've been thinking about Apocalypse Now lately. It's um, this is this has Hearts of Darkness and it's a triple feature. It's got one, two, and three. It says it right there. So. It, It'll say on there. Um, Kitty, there's sorry. Apocalypse Now, sorry, Redo, which is the but one they came out with later on, and then Hearts of Darkness. But, um, pretty weird. Yeah, I was just making fun of it and I looked up on the television. And it was. Kitty, Kitty, this is actually uh, YouTube. Kitty, where'd he go? Where'd he go? It looks pretty interesting. Oh, there he is, right there, doing some stuff. Cool. I saw it. I saw the behind it. the scenes stuff is great. I know, I know. We'll, we'll see you later. Okay. Just, just kill the roach. I was trying to, but you're well, laying on the floor. If you already killed it, then just throw it away. I don't think that's it. I think it was flint. I don't think it was a. It was a roach. I know. It or was it was a it was roach. lint. Cole. I can wash them. In, okay, I'll wash. Is walk. it dirty or is it bruised? I'll look at it. Oh, let's go in here. Dirty too. That hadn't been washed. We've been here what seven weeks. That towel's dirty too. Towel's where? That's been dirty. We've been yeah. here six weeks, seven okay. weeks. This is right too. She's afraid of germs. Now she's gonna go smoke a cigarette. She's walking around with gloves in a superstore. Okay, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. And that's my foot pillow. Oh. What are you talking about? That's the pillow I've been using for my feet. Now you're sleeping on it. Then you're going to carry the germs over there. You wash your feet. 
But now we got. Yeah, I wash my feet in the shower. But then you sleep with that. You put it on your face. Oh. Well, my feet are clean. What's the difference between my feet and my hands? I guess they walk on the ground. If I walked around with my, I guess all my hands, then it would be you know, it'd be, I'd probably be washing my hands all the time. And I'm gonna watch this apocalypse now thing. Pretty ended, explained, breakdown. It's pretty interesting. Oh, I I saw Kitty um, back there in um, in the bedroom. All right, I saw Kitty back in the bedroom. So what were we talking about on cockroaches? I was 12 years old. My mom was All right, ready. turn the air off so we can listen. Years old, and I heard my mother scream. She's getting ready to go work at Olive Garbage, Olive Garden. The cockroach was going up her left arm. Oh, All right. you have to get a little closer to the camera. Oh, it's 12 years old. My mom was getting ready to go work at Olive Garden, and a cockroach went up her left arm. Oh, <laughs> so she screamed. Like, what's going on? What's going on? I just sure not praying on cockroaches from work. Oh god. Probably this nasty bag. Ew. Ew. What is that? Oh, I can't figure out the damn white switch around here. Oh, those are your dirty gloves from 20 years ago. Ugh. Oh. 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 I want to clean, but I don't have any gloves.